am making hot sauce. Easy homemade hot sauce. It was my homemade jalapenos. I think you're wrong. Yes, it's not going to go on ice cream. I got to make two batches. At least two batches. <laughs> the recipe I have calls for eight ounces and I have 26 ounces. So I'm going to make two batches that are 13 ounces each and just adjust the other stuff that's in the recipe. It looks really simple to do. I have cut my jalapenos up into uh, little chunks and I've got some garlic in there, about three and a half, about four cloves. And then I'm going to throw some salt in there and a little bit of water and I'm going to mush it up. And once it's all mushed up, I'm going to put it in a jar and I'm going to let it sit for two days. I'm going to cover it with cheesecloth and let it sit for a couple of days. David, it sounds like experimenting <clears throat> again. And then after that, I'm going to add the vinegar. And it is an experiment for me because that's what life is all about is experiments. But it is, I am following a recipe. Al almost. <laughs> almost following a recipe. She opened one eye and saw jalapeno. And then she opened the other eye and saw vinegar, and that was it. That's it. That's all I saw, jalapeno and vinegar. So that's what I'm making. No, I actually read the instructions and everything this time, Mom. You're kidding. No, I did. Wow. That's how I know. I got to puree the salt and the peppers and the garlic and together. How, how did you change it then, if you read it so carefully? Well, it only called for <clears throat> eight ounces of peppers. And, and I'm using 13 ounces of peppers. Mm -hmm. I could have done three batches of eight ounces each. Yes. But... Who's going to eat this stuff? The hot sauce? Yeah. You are. <laughs> You're going to start putting it on your eggs. No, I'm not. <laughs> I am going to start putting it on my You're eggs. Eating lots of eggs. If I hate it, I'll sell it. Good. I'll take it to the market and sell it. There's a lady there who sells like jams and chutneys and relishes and stuff, but she doesn't sell anything hot. You're a teacher. So. <laughs> What's that, honey? Nothing. Nothing. Not a thing. I gotta do something with those peppers. Well, yeah, let's make something out of them that everybody will eat. No, we're going to make it out of it spicy hot. Well, well, I thought I could make cowboy candy that would be mild or relatively mild out of the jalapenos. Mm -hmm. But I have to do it with taking the insides out, and that's a lot of work. <laughs> <laughs> Are you offering to help scrape insides with me? <laughs> yeah, see, that's what I thought. He wants me to make it mild, but... <sighs> anyway, we'll see. I still got a ton of jalapenos out there. So, I don't know what I'll make with them. But the second batch, I'm going to do a little bit differently. I don't know what I'm going to put in it yet. Another experiment. Um, But I am going to add something. Maybe some pepper. Make it a little peppery and... Uh chili jalapeno peppery maybe a little black pepper i don't know we'll see it's all an experiment so my hot sauce has been fermenting for about a week and a half this is what it looks like it smells super good and super potent and now it's going to go into the ninja and get all zhuzhed up and then i'm going to strain it it looks pretty smooth, but I'm going to strain it through my little metal strainer and some cheesecloth. Uh, because it does still have lumps. Alright, we'll let that drain and I'm going to zhuzh up the rest of it. <laughs> well, 
I'm gonna let it drain overnight. I'm gonna put the lid on it yeah, and let it <laughs> drain overnight. And uh, I'll tell you what, it definitely clears your sinuses. <laughs> <laughs> I've been sneezing away out here as I'm as I'm draining it and I can feel another one coming on. Ah! Anyway, I'll show you the finished product tomorrow. I ended up with four bottles of beautiful green hot sauce and I did some looking afterwards because I didn't want to throw it away. Here's the leftovers from the um, the peppers and the onions and the garlic and, and all that that was fermenting and I've, I've dried it in the dehydrator and I'm going to spin it around in my spice blender and make a spice blend out of it because why waste? Waste not, want not. <laughs> Tell the people what you really think, Tabby. You camera shy? <laughs> Are you camera shy? Well, what? Tell the people. Tell the people what you want. Tell them. Tell them. What? What, Tabby? All right, all right, all right. Just give me a minute. <laughs> So that was my foray into making hot sauce, and it turned out really good. I really like it. Nobody else in the house will eat it. So uh, I did manage to give away one bottle, and I gave away some of the powder as well. I can't take that stuff to market and sell it because uh, I don't uh, I don't know how to seal it, and you can't. You know, I don't know how to, you know, I guess I could the powder and not, j just not seal it, right? But the hot sauce, I don't think I could take that to market and sell it. Anyway, so I still have two and a half bottles and I gave one away and I gave some of the powder away. But it was, it's delicious and I love it on my eggs. And I know somebody's going to ask, so I am going to stand up and show you what my shirt says. <laughs> So I know somebody will ask since you can see the top of it. <laughs> so there you go. Tabby is down here hollering at me again. What do you want up again? <laughs> she hears me talking and thinks that I'm only allowed to talk to her. So I'll see if she calms down a little bit. But yeah, I guess that's it. I still have a load of peppers out in the garden. It's about time to harvest them. They're rainbow jalapenos, and I wanted to leave them a bit and see what kind of colors I would get. I'm getting some yellows, and we're not expecting a lot of rain and fairly decent weather. Like, the nights aren't getting below 50 and the days are getting up into the 70s. So I guess that's like, what, uh, 17 or 18 in Canadian language during the day and staying above 10 at night. So uh, my garden is still out there. It's still growing. I still have melons on the vine, too, and my loofah. I'll have to do another uh, tour one of these days and show you guys. Ah, it's been busy. I've got, I've had a couple of clients who really had some strong deadlines that I needed to meet. And so the last few weeks have been kind of hectic for me. And then of course there's the whole shed wars thing. Uh, I have had a lot of people message me and ask me who I sold it to. And for the time being, they want to remain anonymous. They haven't decided quite yet what to do with it. Uh, but I will be making an announcement about that fairly soon. And uh, I hope that if you're interested uh, in that, it'll, you know, it's, yeah, I, I don't do drama. <laughs> so it's not meant to be drama or cause drama. It's just if you are interested in, in what uh, they decide to do with it, um, stay tuned. <laughs> it'll be coming. Anyway, I'm going to say goodbye and go tend to Tabby's needs because apparently she needs me to sit down somewhere so she can snuggle and fall asleep. So I'm going to do that for now. And uh, what else going on? Oh, great, great.
grapes. I harvested 16 pounds of grapes out of my garden the other day. I've done a little bit of filming of it, but I've got the grape juice now, and I need to go make some grape jelly. So that's my other thing I'm doing today. So I'm going to say goodbye. Take good care of yourself. I will see you soon. Bye now. Say bye, Tabby. Say bye, Tabby. Say bye. <laughs> Thank you.